Today we're going to install a three-way switch. Um, I have my demo wall to help you see what should be hidden behind your um, walls there, behind the thing. And so anyways, if you look, you've got a different color screw here. This is usually used only for your line or your switch leg. So power in or switch leg. And we'll explain this as we go a little further. And you see these other two terminals, they're the same color. Those are your travelers. And you will need a 12-3 or a 14-3, depending on what state you live in, to hook to this. So anyways, so what I've got here, this is a 12-3 that comes up, across, over, to another switch. And we'll get over to that and we'll hook that up. And then I've got power coming from here up. So we, this side is going to be my side with power. The other side is going to be over there. We'll have my switch leg, which will come up through here, up here to the light. And as you notice, the terminals are different and how I put the wires on. So the aluminum looking or silver looking is your neutral, which is your white wire. The copper looking will be your hot. So when the switch is turned on, the power will come through here. It'll activate this and this, this is just a back feed so it'll allow the light to work. So you've seen that, so I'm gonna turn it over like this. So when we install the light, you can see it work. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna connect the ground first. Flat blades are always a good thing, but I just grabbed my Phillips just in. Okay, and then, see we've got the black screw. So, what we need to do is we need to put this around the black screw, because this is power. Grab my flat blade. It's in the wrong slot. We want to tighten these down. Okay. Like I mentioned before, these are travelers, so it allows us to have power at both switches all the time. So when we do this, this over and we always want to turn the wire the same way that we tighten the screw so which is clockwise and we don't have any power in this at this point but we'll turn power on shortly and then the neutrals here we're just going to go ahead and twist those together because we don't need those a part of the switching Okay, so what we're going to do is twist, twist those together because we'll need neutrals over at the other side. And we'll twist the wire nut on, bend it, um, tuck it way back in, side. And it doesn't matter which way the screws, it could go this way, it could go this way, it doesn't really matter on a three way switch. And so, one thing I like to do is I like to use my needle nose to bend it and shove it in. And for me, most of the time, I like to leave the ground at the top. But you can do whatever you would like to do. Okay, let me run over here, grab the screw gun. And we're just going to tighten it up. So, um, as we do this, we're going to go over to the other side and we're going to do the same thing over here. Move that down. This time we'll just go ahead and get the lights out of the way right off the bat. I always twist my wires together because it makes a better conductor. It, can, it holds it together, you don't get the arcs, you don't get the sparks. And then I trim it so it'll work. So I've already made the connection to, for my load side that's going to go up to the light. And so what I'm going to do here, doesn't really matter how since we've got this, 
you can see the dark screw again here's my travelers so this is not going to be part of the 12.3 or 14.3 whatever you have in your local area Now, let's just twist these together. This just helps me to know that these are my travelers. Remember, it goes clockwise. So, then snug them up so it makes a better tight tightening because you, you tighten these clockwise. So. And turn it the same way. So, like before, I like to use my Phillips, well, my needle nose here, actually, and push it in. And then we just want to bend the wires in so that they get some flexibility. And then what I usually like to do is twist it a little bit so it fits just fine. Now the three way switches are in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna down, drop down. I'm gonna put the light switch in here. The bulb, light bulb in here. Tighten it up. Now I'm gonna go over and have the power a little bit so we have power to the unit. It's not working. Well, let's try it. Hot works. So then I come over here, it works. I come over here, it works over here. I'm telling you it works. So the three-way switch is installed. Um, the easy simple way to do it just remember when you're multi-wired like the 12-3 with ground you got a black and red conductor they'll use those as a traveler. You have to have a 14-3 or 12-3 wire to make this work and so switch leg at one end of the switch power at the other end and that's how the three-way switch works.